So guys, today we're going to central London. We're gonna be talking to a bunch of personal trainers and fitness gurus, and also people who have just done a massage course. Now, you're probably thinking, how does that roll in into what I'm doing and business? But actually, today's talk is gonna be all about mindset and success. A lot of these guys are just starting out in the entrepreneurship world, like they're gonna be self-employed. They're gonna need to ma manage a diary, manage clients and talk to a whole bunch of people and learn whole new different skills. You know, um, being a personal trainer, you have to accommodate what the client wants. So whether that's 6.30 in the morning or 10 o'clock at night. So you're like, where do I sleep? Where do I rest? My diary's all over the place. Also, people pay me in full. I need to do my own taxes now. So hopefully today's talk can inspire this whole next generation who are going into self-employment for the very first time. And I have the pleasure to speak to, hopefully there will be quite a number of people there. It's also self-development for me because I really want to influence more lives and impact more people. And the only way to actually do that is to talk in person because that's when you really feel someone's emotions and connection. Anybody can be on a camera and reading a script or knowing their lines, but when you're in front of people, you can't fake emotion. People don't hear what you say, they feel what you say. So this is really crucial for me because the people who I impact today could potentially be following me, not only be following me, but will be supporting me. And for some people, it will go further than supporting. It will be more about, actually, you've really impressed me. I appreciate your experience and I wanna learn with you. Do you offer anything? And of course, we do a little consultancy or we can put them on our subscription list, ready to enroll them for any courses that we got coming up to benefit them lives, shortcut from everything that I've learned over all of these years to, to condense that in a, in, a, in, a, in a very short course for them to get ahead in life. And that's what it's all about. So I hope you enjoy this one and um, let's go. You see, I've got on this train hundreds of times and I've got off on the wrong stop. But now I just jumped to the eastbound and going backwards because I didn't accept failure. Had I, I would have just got left there. But we're now going back to location and it only set us back two minutes. So how many times are we in our comfort zone that we don't do things because of the fear of failure? How many of us is that holding back? When was the last time you tried a new hobby, a new skill, a new course? So today I've arrived in my red limousine. And you're probably thinking, why has he arrived on the tube? Well, it's faster, it's cheaper, and you don't even got to worry about congestion charge or parking. So don't let your ego get ahead of you. Think smart always. Cool. Man, stupid. That's how they saw me. That's how they used to look at me. I want to know how many of you here in this How to speak is an art. So many of us have got an important message to spread to the world, but so often we can't get up and say it. And the reason why we do that is because we're selfish, because we're too worried about what other people are gonna think of us, about what if I mess up. Remember, nobody knows your speech, nobody knows what you're about to say, so you're allowed to mess up. And how many times have we messed up in life? Loads of times, so why is this any different? Get up on stage and spread your message. Tell them what you need to tell them. All you need is a small little structure, know what you're about to say, practice it, rehearse it, and make sure you're giving value to the audience. Remember, it's always about them and never about you. And make them feel included. Ask them a few questions, get them engaged. It's as simple as that, guys. We're rocking and rolling. So let's go to this event and see what we've got. Let's see what we're ma made of. It's my second speaking event, but boy, I'm excited about this one because I know there's so many young students here today that could be learning. And if I don't spread this message today, maybe there's somebody missing out. And that's not what we want, though. Let's go. Today's agenda, got the suitcase up in the central. Go to room 112, tell them block or center. Feel the strangers if no money is strangers. All right, nice. Right. Feeling good. Can't wait. Can't wait to get on. Let's do this. Powered. 
kind of confidence do you need to talk in front of a crowd? You don't need confidence. You need to know that you're helping people. And it's always about helping others. You don't need confidence. It's them. You're helping to give them confidence. It's not about you. Take the focus off. When you learn that, the quicker you'll get up there. That's the only real thing I can say. Dress up like ladies and burn them in dirty 380s. Then they come to kill our babies. That's all I I got cats that blow them all out. Clear them all out. You're fat. You're stupid. That's what they used to say to me. That's how they used to make me feel. How many of you in this room have ever been bullied? Maybe that's in a relationship, at work, your manager picking on you, or at school, like me. I wanna see how many struggled. Raise your hands high. The struggle is real, isn't it? And yet, the thing that I found really hard to get my head around was I had a really loving family at home. A mum who cared about me, my siblings, we used to eat together, play together. And as if by polar opposites, I'd go to this scary space called school. Every time you walk in, you'll see like owls watching you, ready to punch you because you're fat ready to pick on you because you said the wrong thing. Ready to spit on the back of your head while you're just going to the toilet. And I even remember this one time that I finished swimming and the teachers had already left and apparently I swore at someone's mum. And you get pushed out and like vultures, they're all around you, 30 to 60 kids, two, two year groups pushing you and imagine going into under these flats and it's concrete, broken glass all over the floor. You're in East London and you get pushed in the middle and everyone's just around you waiting for you to fight and shouting like they want blood. And then, boof, you see free of this person, you have to fight for your life. It's not a nice place to be. Does school still teach you? Another thing that I learned was about markups. Raise your hand if you know what a markup is. So it's basically, my dad bought a bar of chocolate from the cash and carry and it's the little bit of profit that goes on top. And that was gonna be my boss. My dad goes, look, meet Sanjay, he'll give you a job. Yeah, by the way, you start five o'clock in the morning now, every weekend and in summer holidays. So man's in Hackney, riding up that bike, Stewardson Road, five o'clock cold, especially winter. You know, we wore four jumpers to get there. Imagine this, concrete on the floor, and that tin steel can, count the items, print the bill and go, yeah, 50 items, that's cool, there you go. And they went and got paid. That was a real hard job, you know. And just to let you know, I've got people like um, Michael Page coming on, Michael Venom Page, the number one belt to tour champion, you know him? Yeah, on my last podcast, I'm talking to him. I'm like, what was you doing last week, Michael? Yeah, man was in 50 Cent, you know, he was going down the highway and that guy needs his own TV show, not just power and that. You, you look and you think, wow, I'm only one person away from 50 Cent. I'm talking to another person. It's Grant Cardone's videographer. I'm looking for a, a, a next person. He's only one person away from a next high celebrity. You know? Sure, can I answer a personal question? Are you down to answer it? Yes. Uh, do you mind telling the guys what your property portfolio is worth? My property portfolio today is worth 10 million pounds. And it's not something that I think is amazing and I've done amazing, but that gives me what, 25,000 pounds a month? Whether it's through my personal, some of it's through a partnership, some of it's through my, my, my business, some of it's through a management company. You've got to learn how to structure yourself right. I told you my journey up to the age of 26 and I just compounded 37 today. I've got some real celebrities coming on and I've got some in the pipeline. A lot of them you'll know and you'll say, do you know what? When Sean's sitting there, he's asking that question for me because I dumb it down. How did you do that? Why did you do that? What does that mean? I want you to be thinking he asked that question for me because that's why I'm there. I'm not doing it for me. Well, what, what else do I need? I just need a good interview out of it. So just trying to bring value for you guys. So I prepared a couple of slides. If you're going to be around, five people who are drinking every night on Friday night and you want to be around that crowd, what are you going to be? A drinker. And if you're going to be around five millionaires, what will you become? 
There you go. Come on, bro. That energy, king energy. Every time. Come on, Chris. Yes. And you know when people say about manifestation? I'll tell you what manifestation is. Literally. It's, it's not just I'm going to think in my bed, I'm going to be the best personal trainer, I'm going to have the best courses, I'm going to teach other people. It's not going to happen. It's about having a vision in my head. And now I write it. And now it's become a thing. And now I draw it so other people can see. And then I can show a developer who can also see my vision. It's all about action. If you're not gonna take action, you're not gonna manifest anything. I can see he must have failed so many times to get that body. How many competitions he needed to fail to get that right. Am I eating oats before? Am I eating jam before? Am I eating a bagel before? Which one contracts my body? He's the one qualified, not your friend going, yo bro, I think you should eat this and you're gonna get wench, innit? <laughs> yeah? Put a picture of uh, running <laughs> It was brilliant bro, honestly, like, ah, oh, that was unreal, that's exactly where I belong man, on stage, influencing people, I love the Q&A, it felt like we really brought a lot of value to people, you know, we, they were really engaged, they were an awesome audience as well, they gave so much, like, they, they asked so many questions, and they were intrigued, they were smiling, we've come out, we've just got a whole bunch of followers, like it means everybody wanted to follow the journey and they were proud of it. Now we've got some new people subscribing and so you know you're gonna get your followers, you know you're gonna get your supporters, which I think I got a lot of today, but you're also gonna have one or two people who need some help. And I hope that from this crowd that we're able to help somebody along their journey to become really successful. And that's the best part I like about this. Thing is, some of the questions, because of the way we think, it requires a very long answer and you only got two minutes to say the short version, which just isn't enough time and it's actually not really fair. So um, I tried to condense some of my, my answers and I just wish I had a little bit more time, but that's just the nature of what it is. And hopefully some people see that I gave them little snippets of it and if they want some more, then you want some, come get some. So here's a tip if you're a speaker. People don't like to feel that they only know half of something. So if anybody picked up on the fact that, hey, I was really enjoying Sean's presentation, but I didn't get to find the full presentation and there was more of this stuff that he prepared for, well, I wanna find out. And that's when you're also gonna get someone to help mentor and work one-to-one -one with. So it's not always bad, guys. The people who were running the event were really happy. They were, you know, chuffed that everything really went well. We got some experience from our, one of our second events and uh, I, I, you just gotta see the positive. You know, I'm just, the gratitude today is, I got to talk on stage and my confidence levels are going up and the journey is going beautifully. If you want something, start making steps to go and make it happen. And if you're not, then you know the result of that. Destiny is in the eyes of the beholder, they say. See, you really know you've had a good event when you go press the follow button and everyone's like <laughs> All at the same time. We killed it, boys. We killed it. Check how many people are mentioning us in their stories, bro. Story, story, story. And how many people are like following us and subscribing and everything? Like, this is what it's all about. This is how you know. You sometimes you don't get feedback straight away, but you walk away and you you know you you've made an imprint on someone's life that like they they felt you're the guy I need in my life. And it's not, there's no money you can put on that. When people say I want to be a millionaire. Man, when you're a role model to the next generation, there's no money you can put on that, man, honestly. Come on, we're doing this, bro. We're doing it. <laughs> oh, this reminds me of, look, look right, take, check out one of these first videos. Hi, bye. I can't make this up by Kevin Hart. He's someone who's similar to myself. He's made it from nothing. He's actually gone from zero to 60 million. Memories, eh? We're making memories already. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to go and eat, bro. We've got to fill that belly up. We're out. Well, hopefully, this is all good, Joe. But we might be going to dish him, yeah. Got to have um, some Asian persuasion, you know? Cool. Thanks, man. Something with chicken in it, bro. Some sort of chicken, either like the Chicken Berry Britannia. It means tempting and flavorful pot of chicken, ginger garlic, mint coriander and rice cooked together the kachi style 
What does that mean? I don't know. It's got berries and stuff in it apparently as well. So. Chicken. Well, Mewan chicken bedroom. Or the shish kebab, which is minted lamb. Success. How to grow. You know, I, I was everything here. Actually. Exactly. Like most labor everything starts there. Like everything starts like there. Your personal development. Yeah. Most important thing. One hundred. Once you believe it. Yes. It is that's created. it. One hundred. <laughs> you know, I, was, I used to work in Las Iguanas, and I have so many Spanish friends and Italian friends, and from Eastern European. So, you know, you remind me of uh, one of my friends, George. Jorge. Really? Jorge. Jorge yeah. George. He's from uh, Spain as well. Like, you remind me of him. The same thinking as well, like, sure, the mind is so powerful, man. <laughs> like, you know. I know, the mind is everything. By Blue Singer, Rihanna, and Composer. We'll try this one first. Where is it from? It's Chana, Chana Puri, which is basically, um, what's Chana? It's like, the chickpeas. Yeah, it's chickpeas, that's it. Chana is chickpeas. So. Bro, it's my doggy bag, man. No, 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 no. Basically, we, we just finished a fat munch here, but nobody ate the chana puri. We just had a little bit of it, but I wasn't gonna let that go to waste. One, I paid good money for that. And second of all, somebody in my house will love this, so why would I waste it? You know? It's when you appreciate the small things in life, like this, bro. I'm telling you, everything else looks after itself. <laughs> what, what an inspiration, eh? He's not letting anything stop him from his dreams. Even you can see his arm's been amputated and he's still playing what he wants to play. And yeah, man, that, that's, that's real inspiration there, I'm telling you. Honestly, because too many of us give up and we have two limbs and arms and legs and everything. you really enjoyed today's vlog it was all about having a day in the life of Sean Land Look, there we go we got the main man himself <laughs>